Hi guys, this is Monica. I am going to share with you a wig review. And if you're interested in this really pretty piece I have on my head, stay tuned. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, so much for joining me. This wig is actually new for 2020. This is one of Henry Magu's new releases, and this is called Naomi. I'm gonna do a spin. So this is a very sassy, sort of free-flowing, short, shattered bob. Now on their website, Henry Magu says that this is sort of a reinvented, updated bob with all sorts of layers. And I would have to agree. I think. What I absolutely love the best is the color. This is the color 88 GR. And GR basically stands for something that it, it's sort of a, a gradient color. It, it's the root is more natural in my opinion. Now I love rooted looks. I just don't like the stark rooted looks. And I think Henry Magu has nailed it when it comes to this type of a root look. The GR, very naturally rooted, and it's just really blends so beautifully and it's so realistic. 88 GR, this is considered a light wheat blonde with strawberry, with dark strawberry blonde highlights. I'm hoping you can pick up on the highlights. And they say on a dark brown root, I think it's a medium brown root. It really looks more of a medium brown root. And it could maybe that it perhaps looks lighter to me because it's such a gradual rooting. It just looks so natural, I think. And Henry Magu, in my opinion, has, they have the most exquisite lace front. I'm going to try to pull this back a little. So you can see, I you can probably see my widow's peak right here, but this lace front is temple to temple. The knotting is very, very fine, and it is just, you know, it gives you that sort of, it's a casual look, but put together at the same time. I, I don't quite know if that makes a lot of sense. In other words, I can go out very casually with this look, and it's sort of a slightly wind-swept look that looks very, I think, mean, cute or I can comb it and make it a little bit more structured, but it's still going to maintain that sassy, loose look. So you're never going to look like you just came from the hair salon. You're going to look like you have fabulous hair, no matter the conditions. So I received this complimentary in exchange for a review, and let me show you a little bit right now. When I opened the box, I think every Henry Magu wig that I have ever received has come so securely packaged, it's, it's incredibly impressive. So when I open the box, you can see it has tissue paper. I open the tissue paper, a little bit of a description on the product. And then the wig itself was so securely placed inside the box with more tissue paper and a little cardboard cutout that was shaped that you can put inside for the wig to hold its shape while packaging. All I did once I got this was I took it out of the box. I shook it really, really good. And when I mean I shook it, I really do. I'm going to show you on another wig. This is Henry Magu's Farrah in the exact same color, guys. So I usually go and take it out and I have the little tag here. And I mean, I shake and I very gently pull with my fingers the fibers. The whole thing is you want those fibers to lift up off of the cap, especially by the lace front, especially by the part. So the more you can manipulate with your fingers in there and shaking it and shaking it, the more of a natural look you'll get when you put this on your head. So when I say shake it, once it's on my head, I usually run my fingers all through the parting. And I make sure that I'm lifting those fibers so that I can style them just a little bit better. And I do the same thing all around the lace front, all around the whole crown of the, the wig. I'm going to show you the inside of the cap right now because as you can see from the inside of the cap, this has a really nice lace front and the, the knotting is just really fine 
it is a pretty pretty lace front the lace front goes to the ear tabs so that would be temple to temple and then you have a monofilament part a little bit of spacing but not a whole lot you can't move the part all around a little bit of a permatease here extremely when you touch this extremely light permatease hardly anything at all I'm really really surprised then it has an open wefted cap really super comfortable a little bit of an extended nape adjustable velcro straps here so you can cinch it in if you need to make it smaller this is an average size cap it fits me really well there is not like I showed you on the inside of the cap there's hardly any permatease I I very lightly feel a little bit of permatease and I prefer permatease over no permatease because I think a permatease will help lift and shape the hair I don't want to have to struggle with a wig to get height to get shape so I can do that with my bio hair <laughs> you know because I have a very flat head so I love the fact that this has some permatease but it doesn't have a lot in the fibers I, I would consider this more of a low density fibers the fibers feel really good now you could probably style this a little bit with your if you rub your hands together you can probably lift it a little bit up this is not heat friendly so you're not going to be really using any heat but I would like to lift this up off my forehead a little bit more so I would probably work with that with the heat of my hands just to give it a little bit of uplift right there just a little bit of that so I'm going to superimpose some photos that I took outside it was snowing very bright day but I think it's really good that you get to see this in different conditions this is indoor lighting and what you're seeing right now is outside so a couple of shots and then here I am walking around outside I think that it's just really good for you to see how beautiful this color is because to me it's perfect I am hoping you enjoy this review, this look at this beautiful layered bob style that's been updated by Henry Magoo. I think it is perfect. And one more spin. And you can see the silhouette. So I probably should tell you while I'm here because the bangs are seven and a half inches. I have a nine inch from my hairline to my chin. So when you have a bang of seven and a half inches on my face shape, it's going to lay completely different than it might on someone else's. And the ear tabs, longest is going to be around six. The nape is about two. And the top is anywhere between four and a half and seven and a half, seven and a half which I think is going to give you this really pretty silhouette really pretty silhouette so the sides three and a half to six and the overall the longest length overall is about eight and a half although I'm not seeing where that is because for me it just lies so much shorter because I have such a long face Naomi Henry Magoo new for 2020 in the color 88 GR awesome color awesome style hope you enjoyed the review thank you so much for joining me bye bye guys